side to side, lean to the side, then boom! Well, we'll see if they can crank it up one more time. They put on quite a show. We'll see what this round offers up. The executioner's cheek is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Good job on the outside by Roy. Able to score well. Boy, you gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not gonna move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope that you wrap them real good because you're banging the nugget all night long. Among some of the athletic exploits that have turned heads by Roy Jones Jr. is the fact that he's also a fairly decent basketball player and he once played a professional basketball game by day, now granted the minor leagues, and then a world title fight that very same night. He's a good athlete. He picked the right sport because I've had trainers tell me in the past, guys that I respect, if you're going to have a fighter who comes from another athletic background, let it be basketball because those physical sets of skills really parallel in some ways in a ring. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. You can see the cut that has started above his eye. And now he needs to get on his wheels a little bit. Punch there. <laughs> Unable to score with the upper. This is an all out war. With both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pocket. Another round. Will it go in another one way direction? It's been a one sided fight so far tonight. Blocks that belt line well. Just off the mark with that punch. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it. Back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Wow, clearly affected. He was just damaged by that combination. What he needs to do right now is grab on. Oh, and there you go. The executioner's link. Oh, that's got to hurt. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Block that time. It was intended to the head. One minute to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Very nice work by Roy Jones Jr. on the outside. Roy Jones Jr. is being very efficient right here. I mean, he's just picking his shots. His accuracy is through the roof. Well, that's one of the talents, and you hope is a talent, of a top fighter, is his ability to pick his shots, to be calm enough to see the openings. He's seeing everything. Oh! Roy Jones Jr. is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. End of the round. Six rounds in the books, six to go. Oh, that's got to hurt. Roy Jones Jr.'s hurt bad by a right hand. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, 
and then comes back with an uppercut. Wow! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Well off the mark by Roy Jones. that punch intended for the head. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Good-looking counterpunch. Roy Jones Jr.'s got some swelling that now you figure his opponent's going to target. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. The end to another very... The decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that... His real strength is to be able to weigh you down, is to have a great resolve, and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because... Maybe in his mind, that means the guy is throw hard back at him. Able to counter that attack. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. The executioner is making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. A series of power shots, and he is hurt. The thing here right now is he's not disrupting his own offense. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. But his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.